What's going on everybody? Noah here from Big League Gaming. Today we are going to be playing some Skulls of the Shogun. Uh, Shogun, Shogun, I don't really know how to pronounce it. However, this is the PlayStation Plus game of June. Along with that we do have the Metal, Metal Gear Solid 5, I believe. Um, or it's 4. It's, I believe it's 4. Um, and you get that little, like, those little tactical missions there. But today we're going to be playing against Skulls of Shogun. I'll let you guys, um... Enjoy this brief interlude, I guess to say, introduction to the game, because I thought it was cool. This game is actually really interesting, and I'm going to explain it in just a second, but I'll let you guys enjoy this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, I hope you guys liked that uh, little intro. Um, so, as we can see, I did a little bit of background research, and a Shogun actually um, had to do with the Japan military. Um, so, this was kind of like the commander-in-chief, um, and he was basically like kind of just below the emperor. So, he was generally the ruler pretty much of the country he had about the same amount of power as an emperor so as we can see he says I'm General Akimoto dude what are you talking about as you can see his transfer from death or from from his former position as a shogun into the afterlife he no longer has that power um, as you can see just the regular soldier there says like dude he calls him a fella or whatever calls him a ronin then which is basically the basically an ba it, just a very bad um, phrase towards especially somebody in power, but clearly he doesn't understand this yet. Uh, poor General Akimoto. Anyway, guys, um, so as we can see, he's like, dude, I'm not taking this for no, for an answer. So he starts attacking. Um, as you will see later, if you read the description of the game, you'll see that basically it says build your army. What's cool about this is right here you see we're starting to build the army. We get two guys here that come in. And then boom, they're on your side. So automatically, this game really impressed me. Number one, with the art style, love the art style. Thought it was, thought it was kind of cute. I really did like it. Um, it it kind of has sort of that like kid, kid feel to it. But along with that, it has wonderful dialogue. I mean, look at it. It has this deep, uh, this deep narrative that has um, sort of like a, a very deep sentimental feel to it because. You, you, I mean, you, you experience the emotions of someone who has, who, who was in some ring of power, and then he dies, and now he's in the afterlife. Now we see this no longer takes place, and this is a problem. So, I mean, we already introduced the conflict of it. Uh, this is very, this was very interesting to me. I'm really excited to play the, the rest of it. I mean, for a turn-based strategy game, this by far um, has really exceeded my expectation of a turn-based strategy game you know what to look for and I mean this narrative on top of the you know really fast-paced turn-paced strategy especially for this um, is absolutely amazing I played a little bit of the multiplayer and it was actually quicker than I thought it was um, if you played basic games like chess checkers uh, different things like this that are very turn-based uh, it's very very it's very quick in comparison to this uh, I thought this was it really appealed to me as my lack of patience started um, as the rounds do have a tendency to go long you, they're, you're always engaged and you're never bored that's what I really liked about this as you can see guys got about like a 20 minute video here and that's about how long it took me to do all the rounds to eventually complete basically the introduction of the game I am a little bit farther in the game I'm about three hours into the game and it's very much so like if any of you have played Candy Crush or games like that where you have the leveling system of you have to unlock this. Um, another good one is like Boom Beach on 
iOS, how you have the clouds, and eventually you get to move the clouds away once you get enough currency or get enough of whatever you're trying to obtain to eventually move those clouds away. Same sort of system here. Um, I think Mario World is a good is a good analogy to it too, as you're like moving your character along the map, but then you do the level to complete that, etc. Self-explanatory. You move on. It's cool. We all, it's also another awesome mechanic of this game that I thought is, as you'll see later on, um, I thought I'd introduce it a little bit early. When you kill the soldiers, whether it be you die or the opponent soldier dies, you can eat their skull. So it has sort of like an evolving system too. If anybody's played Evolve, you understand once you eat a certain amount of beasts as the monster, you can evolve your monster to become more powerful. Same sort of concept here. If you have a little soldier here, like if you have a cavalry dude or just a plain infantry guy, even um, your general, uh, General Akimoto, you can eat the dead people's skull and you can gain, you gain uh, HP and you gain your like attack hits. Um, you also evolve into like, uh, more like a ninja kind of is what I thought it looked like. Not, it's a, or like a samurai, I don't know, one of the two. But you, you guys will see later on here. Now, once it introduces that mechanic to you, it t t walks you through it, talks you through it. So I thought that was very, very interesting. Um, so guys, I really hope you like the gameplay. Um, you, again, you don't have to watch all of it. It's very long if you want to stick it out to the end. It, it gets pretty interesting, gets pretty serious. Um, but of course, guys, check this out on the PlayStation Store. Uh, it is free if you have PlayStation Plus. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, you're missing out, guys. Missing out on great, great games every month. So, guys, uh, for Bigly Gaming, this I am Noah Hankinson. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Always subscribe. Please subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel, guys. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Let people know. Um, so, always thank you, thank you for watching. Minto
Thank <laughs> you.